going to go out and take in the geraniums because although it's a lovely sunny day, um, it's getting cold. As you can see with me and my attire, my wee shawl and my cardigan that must be 10 years old. Uh, and I'm now dressed in layers because it is mid-October now. But I'll take my little friends out with me who are quite comfortable on the couches just now. But as soon as I say we're going out, they'll be off like a shot. We're going out? That's not like a shot. <laughs> are we going out, boys? It's time to tame this neglected nightmare because I'm going to be putting my geraniums to bed for the winter. And I need the room. Um, the aubergines are still trying to go. So what I think I might do is just pull the flower heads off them and keep them maintained during the winter and hopefully get a head start. Never know. It might not work. But I'll give it a go. This is an artichoke seedling, really. Um, I had I seen it earlier, I'd have planted it into the ground so it could have got established. But it's too late for me anyway to put it into the ground. Um, so I'm just going to nurse this one over the winter as well. And then in the spring give it a good feed, and make it nice and strong and put it into the ground after a couple of weeks of feeding. And hopefully I might get one wee artichoke because that'll be its second year. If this is its first, they have not. They're still worth the worth planting. Oh, the beautiful architectural plants of these lovely leaves. So what I've done here is I've emptied my pots into this container here because what I'll do later on or next year is I'll rejuvenate that soil and I'll sieve out the stones and use it again because soil, soil is very precious so you should always try and save as much as you can. The plants that were in there, I've piled them in here and these will be going into the compost because they will be rich and food. And that's the geraniums in. And um, this pink one is really healthy looking. The last year I trimmed that right back. I'm going to do it this year again. They seem to like the terracotta pots. That little begonia has managed to slip in there but no harm what a friend gets. I don't want the geranium to work any harder than they need to. I don't keep a very tidy, a very tidy um, greenhouse. And my excuse is that flowers are like children and if you keep them too clean and pamper them too much all they do is look beautiful but they can't really find from themselves so sometimes a little tough love is the best way to go Well, that's them in. I've watered them and I won't water them again until I see them 
if they're maybe struggling a little then I'll give them a wee top up and it'll just be a little smudging of water and if it gets too cold, if we get a really severe winter, I'll come in and my fleece is already there to wrap around the roots because that's probably where they would dive with frozen roots especially in the terracotta one because that's porous the plastic ones might give them some more protection well, night night geraniums I'll keep an eye on you and see if you can survive a little begonia Now house plants I'm not so great at and this little princess here is a very fussy plant so if anyone could give me tips on this I don't even know its name I'm babysitting it um, if anyone could help me out and tell me the best way to look after it just leave a comment in the bottom Sand, and I'm going to try some outdoor paint with it. I bought Kipper instead of Ron Seal, and I wanted to Ron Seal, but I'll give it a try in the back and see if it's going to be okay. And if it's okay, I'll use it. I'm going to make um, I'm going to make this into uh, Napoleon II type table. I know that the legs are a little bit fatter. And they pull in the second the table down to at least to let a heel tight feet at the bottom. Um, but beggars can't be choosers, so we'll just get on with it. Uh, see how it goes. See, I'm just putting it to the front panel because I'm going to put a different paint on here. I'm not too worried if I paint over the little rim here because that's going to be gilded in gold. So it doesn't matter if it's got a bit of paint on it because the gold will just go in as a separate entity. rustic red onto this panel here that I put the slick stick on and this is going to act as a base coat for um, the little effect I'm going to do or it's a layering process so two coats of this first and I'm not as I say not too worried about this bit here I'm not too worried about this bit here because it's going to be gold. So I put a third coat on this and while it's wet I'm going to apply these colours here. This is um, Dixie Bell, oh, what's it called again? I'll insert it in the screen. And this is the uh, Dixie Bell Russet Red, this is Annie Sloan's Pure White, and Dixie Bell's 
Kein more mustard. Oh, Dexy Bell Coffee Bean. That's what it is. Right, I'll get started with this. bad at all considering. No, oh, I've even got a news flash to tell me that it's not too bad. <laughs> the marbling finished. When I started it I used the brush effect and that didn't work for me so I ran and I got um, a damp cloth and that seems to have worked a lot better. Yeah, I think that looks like marble. You could get away with it once it's vanished. It could be me who just was wishful thinking trying to get the project done. <laughs> seal satin coat. I put it on my other table and it's really durable and this is supposed to be in marble. You can't see the effect properly from this distance but I'll give you a close-up later on. Uh, so marble is shiny so I don't mind putting varnish on this for that very reason. Oops, a bit here a bit. I'll start here actually. Oops, it's not in tape here.